Welcome back to the campaign for Shogun 2 Total War, the Chosokabe clan on legendary difficulty. Hello and welcome to part number 10 of the Shogun 2 Let's Play. It's been about three weeks since I recorded part number 9, that's because I have been busy with my new job settling in, so it's been quite difficult trying to find the time to record, but I finally have a bit of time. I fancy doing some more parts for Shogun 2, so here we are. Um, Sogo Rebels, let's see, 42. Got my general here. Leveled up as well. Retainer, this game have given him a good retainer. So we've got favourite mount, so I can, you can get a charge bonus of plus one. Accuracy of bow, that's probably better because. Oh, actually, no, we're going to go for the charge bonus. No point going for the bow because. And cavalry commander, field, and infantry leader. <gasps> Stand and fight. Oh, and level 2 gives me plus 1 melee attack. We're going to go for that. Excellent. Joseph Kabi Masayo, you are an absolute beast. Oh my god. Look at those stats. Level 4 general. Nice. We can chase with Ashigaru down in the next turn. So yeah, uh, this campaign is... It's been a bit stop-start at the moment. It's, I do apologise for that. Um, yeah, I've been selling to my new job, and because of it, you know, it can be quite uh, stop-start, as I said. Ooh, our are unhappy. We have rebels, do we? Miyoshi rebels, yes, we do. Oops, wrong button there. What the hell? That's weird. Bit of a glitch there, clicking the thing, and that's coming up. Left-clicking, not right-clicking. Anyway, we have a four-unit shirt. Our We'll have a Ga Yari Ashigaru Garrison and Samurai Retainers. We should be okay, I think. And even if we do lose it, we've got this army up here which can come down and take it anyway. So, I think in part number 9 we were deciding on where to go. We sent ships to Hyuga. I think we have some more around here, do we? Let's see. Yeah, we have one here at Higo. We were thinking of taking on the Sagara, I think, because they are relatively uh, weak. We have two provinces and they're right bang in the middle. Now, the Shoni, if I can find them, they're very friendly and we are actually trading with them. And they have lots and lots of land, so it's probably best that we don't try and attack the Shoni because they would eat us up very easily, probably. In the south, they have the Ito. We have three settlements in the south. We could attack them because they're not at war with anyone and there won't be any repercussions if we did ta attack them. But I think Sagara who are allied with the Shoni actually, that actually could be a problem. Yeah, I think the Ito is what we thought, I think we thought about this in the last episode, and the Ito was probably the best bet uh, down here. So let's bring this ship down to Satsuma. So they have a large army at Satsuma, nothing really at Osumi, Osumi. and then Hyuga is relatively undefended as well. So Hyuga would be where I take and then I'll go south to Osumi and then Satsuma and that would be me taking the south. That would be my invasion. I have been starting up a fleet here. We have a medium bune and two Vokabayas and my general. We have matchlocks, we have some bows, lots of Ashigaru, some bow samurai, some cav and of course Chosokabe Kunachika who is my daimyo. He's distrustful and he's courageous which is good. I think what we will do is we will finish off the rebels here with Masayo. Masayo is going to go with him. Probably this army can join as well once we deal with the Miyoshi rebels down here. We have a bit of money to spend. We can actually recruit. It's probably worth recruiting actually. Um, get some bow. Get a unit of bow. Main reason is that we only have the garrison and the garrison doesn't have a bow unit. So that probably makes sense there. I think that's probably everything we can do is check our mastery of arts. Torafukin will be good and then we will go for equal fields to get the terrace farming. Okay, so let's click end turn. Not much more I can do in this end turn phase. And yeah, so. Excellent. Um, quick question for you guys. Are you looking forward to Attila Total War? I've kind of got mixed feelings on it to be honest. Um, happy about it but I would have been happier if it was Medieval 3. I will probably do one or two single player campaigns. Oh and they've attacked us. 
Okay, so we have a battle, so I shall see you all on the battlefield. Hello and welcome to the battlefield, so we click the start button straight away. And try to locate where our enemies are coming from, I think. Ah, right over here. All four of them, or at least three of them. All Ashi Yari Ashigaru are coming from this side, where's the bows? Where are you bows? And they at the back. Okay, so that's great because the bows can be under fire from here. These units can go with my tower here. I'm going to actually put my uh, samurai retainers here to hold and then a nice big wall. Three units deep for my Yari Ashigaru. The aim will be they can climb up here, this wall, and they will lose a couple of men to the fall. So, for exam example, a unit of 200 Yari Ashigaru on a steep wall like this could probably lose about 10 to 20 men. On a smaller wall like this, they might only lose two or three. And the bows, who are this side, won't be in range here with my men at this side of the settlement, so they would have to climb as well. While climbing, they will be under fire from my archery tower here. And they will lose a couple of men. The aim will be to deal with the ones at the front first, unless, of course, the bows come up first. But anyway, I'm going to fast forward, just have a quick look to see who's nearest to me. I think they're going to probably arrive at the same time. It looks like it. Right, let's put it on normal speed. It looks like... Yari Ashigaru are going to get there first. Yes, they are. That is totally fine. We're going to be using fire arrows, so as soon as they cross that red line, we can hit the fire arrows and rain death upon my foes. Has it killed anyone yet? I don't think it has. Hmm, that's strange. Oh, the range is only here in the blue, I think. I thought it was the red, that's strange. Ah. I'm slightly confused. <laughs> yeah, I think it could, could be the blue one. But there isn't the blue one this side. It's red. How odd. Come on, fire for me. It's not firing for some reason. Which is a bit odd. Come on. Doesn't matter anyway. Dim problemo. Ah, now it's firing. Eventually. Oh my god. Don't come out of formation like that. Right. Once they get up there, we'll form ourselves a nice little Yari wall. We'll box them in tight. Like that. They've lost some men. My Yari wall's gonna hold them. They're not gonna get through. Fire here. My retainers will eventually go up to fight the bows, but we don't need to worry about that for now. I don't think. Right, they're starting to climb. Retainers, run over there. This Yari wall can probably deal with what's coming. Yes, we are. We've lost seven men, but we've killed 14, so we're doubling our, our kill rate at the moment. Probably hold, for now at least. Not the best looking of walls, I must say, but we're getting kills. Morale is depleted on the unit there as well. Get my retainers over there quickly. Retainers will make short work of the Boashikaru. As you can see, they've got 146. They are losing men to the wall as well thing is I had to do that because if I don't charge them then they would have actually fought a uh, shot arrows into the back of my Ashigaru unit oh and we actually lost this tower which is bad and we've lost the capture point as well which is bad but not too worried at the moment not worried at all got plenty of time got a minute oh, and they've actually run up to the capture point so it doesn't matter at all they're wavering look our general is in grave danger my lord our general is in grave danger my lord 154 and we've killed 64 so 
every man's got a, the men that we've lost we're slightly over with kills if that makes sense bows are wavering they'll be gone soon I only lost uh, nine retainers or ten retainers so we're killing the bows they'll lose morale through uh, through that as well need to kill them quickly though they're not holding on to this tower yet either right done that get over there now get your ass over there guys they shattered the bows which is useful so the Yari Ashigaru are actually shaken and they've made their way towards me so let's attack them the wall's doing well they've actually gained up gone up a level with the wall Yari Ashigaru wavering 114 I've got two units against one so it's not fair but of course they are still climbing they're not all up there they are shaken as well and we are killing some Yari Ashigaru Yari Ashigaru Oh, and some of them have broken through, which is bad. Oh my. Doesn't matter, we're going to keep the wall there. Don't want to be turning just yet. Now we do. Get in there quickly, guys. That's all good. It's going to be tight, this is, I think. Yeah, it's going to be very tight. <laughs> Three units all wavering. My men are just about holding on. My retainers can try to relieve. Of course, my men won't route. You don't, won't route in the settlement but they will route if they step foot outside so if we can hold on they'll just fight till the death there we go retainers can charge in boom and we've won one with two units excellent let's uh let's chase them down continue for a moment let's kill wherever we can kill as many as we can we've got the tower back as well which is good no arrows left though which is bad Fast forward it briefly, and I think that's probably all we're gonna kill. Oh, guys, what are you doing? Oh my god, you idiots! Let's escape quickly. <laughs> I misclicked, I think, and they started draining my wall, uh, uh, door down, so that's not good. Oh well. <laughs> do 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 Excellent, so we are back. So we lost 176 and we deployed 260, so a bit tight in, uh, in the end, but that's okay. Rebellion squashed. Oh, and we have. <laughs> We're gonna auto resolve this general against Yari Ashigaru. They depleted, just auto resolve. Hopefully, I won't lose my general. Lost four men, that's acceptable. Huzzah! And we are back. Earthquake in the Wadri, that's bad. Unhappy unhappiness. It only lasts for two seasons, we'll, we'll survive. Uh, Wadri, only pissed. If I exempt you, uh, if I exempt you, you'll be happy for a turn, a few turns, so not too worried. I could get a stronghold in the Wadri, which would be money well spent if someone tries to attack it, but it's worthless, really. It's not too. not to be worried about. Um, Unit of bows, 58. Got a unit here which can chase it down. And auto resolve. Don't really want to fight the battle myself, so let's just auto resolve it quickly. There we go. Rebellion squashed. Job done. And this unit can actually go back to our, I think. Just as a garrison unit. May as well. Excellent work. Um, just check all my provinces now. So this rebellion's dealt with. Sanuki is happy enough. They're not exempt. Io is a little bit pissed, so I might want to deal with that while I'm here. Um, we'll exempt them for now. We will get a stronghold, I think. What else can we get? Trading port would be happy. Would be good. Uh, roads replenishment rate thinking about what would be the best. We get war horse stables but don't really need that right now. Yeah, we'll go with the stronghold, keep them exempt and then uh, Tosa is a bit pissed as well. We'll be having a Namban trade port in four turns. I can recruit some more matchlocks. Do I ever want to do that really though? I don't really need them do I? 
I think I'll cancel that. Don't need a Namban trade port. Sawmills would be more useful, I think. Could get a stronghold. Gonna get a stronghold in Tosa. Basically, I'll be able to deal with rebellions much quicker if I get upgrade into all my all my settlements. Could get a stronghold in Awadri as well. And Sanuki hunt one four four zero one sixty. Five turns is from to take three. Gonna do it and then everything can be moved to IO. Just gonna bring everything to IO and we'll probably click end turn. So then in the following part we can board this ship and we can actually sail to Hyuga. So I'm gonna click end turn again, there's not much more I can do. I don't think let's just check. Can't trade with anyone, we're only trading with the show me at the moment. Click end turn. See what happens in this end turn phase and then I will be ending this episode, a short episode today, but we'll have some more very soon. Ito Sagara. Atakiyama. And we're back with our turn. Mount Young Unrest in Tosa. We're now studying equal fields, so. Oh, his son is born. Excellent. Chosokabe Yoshiji. Yoshiuji? Yoshiuji, I think it's called. called. Urukami are destroyed and the Yasugi are destroyed as well. Righty ho, so. Just check the happiness. And if you get a bit pissed still. Oh my god, you guys are irritated in this. I don't have rebellions all the time, so we're going to exempt. You can get back an hour as a as a garrison. So you two are happy. Sanuki's now happy with exemption. I'm exempting a lot of places at the moment, which I don't want to do. I don't want to make a habit of it anyway. Io. If I take them off now, oh god. Tax burden. Oh, I got a tax up, I think. That's probably why. Oh yes, very high. Let's bring it down to normal. Okay, that should improve things dramatically. Yes, of course, excellent. So Io can be taken off. Sanuki can be taken off. Uh, Tosa is off anyway. Awa is fine, that's off. And then Awadri. Oh, we've got minus one in Awadri. Oh, God. But that should change after the next turn, I think. Uh, we'll keep it on for now. How much is it costing me? Now uh, we can live with it on, I think. Sort it out next turn. Get my general in with this army here. Oh yes, look at that army. Invasion fleet. And then another ship, another unit to come. What I'll do is I'll probably split the ship so I got more to to land. So I'll have over twenty units. Let's just check our units a minute. Let's see: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen units here. Oh, and the game's frozen. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, we're fine. We're back. That was weird. That was a big freeze. Uh, 15 units there, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units there. So that's good. Got our ships as well, which we can blockade ports with. We've already got some ships there, so we'll probably just do that. We'll probably. I can't see any fleets are there, so we'll just blockade Satsuma and we'll go up and down the coast. I don't know if they've actually got a port in Hyuga. I assume we got one here, so we'll blockade them there. So that's going to be our plan for the next part. Don't worry guys, next part will be better, we'll have some warfare, and our invasion will begin. But I've been Dragonheart, I hope you've all enjoyed, until next time, goodbye.